What is going on, everybody? It's a good day today. It's a good day. I got quite a collection going here, starting at least. Um, this is the Cobra that I was talking about in the previous video that I couldn't find, but I finally found it. I had it in my bedroom. Um, it's just like the other one in the previous video. You can build your car, but I'm not going to open this one because this one's just too cool looking to do anything with and it's just not as cool to me if you, i open it and do everything i want to do to it this seems cooler to me some people have the perspective of opening it or um, popping it or whatnot it's, it's cool though um in this video i'm just kind of sum up everything that i have going so far i've gotten quite a few um cars here recently and i figured i'd just go over a few of them i know there's probably going to be a couple that i have in my previous videos but this is uh summing up of what's going on here uh, let me put that right here because I have a big tub. All right. Uh, first off, first off, we have the '66 Mercury Corn Comet Caliente. Caliente. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but we're moving right along here. We're not trying to make this a big deal here. We have the '70 Chevy Impala Custom Coupe. We have the 2012 Chevy. Corvette Z06. Really cool car. I don't like the rims on it though. Um the 67 Chevy Corvette 427. That's a beautiful car. I like the 63s better, the split window. But still a cool car. This is the 84 Chevy Camaro Z28. I love this car. I don't care about the rims. I mean, they all, all of these muscle cars in the um, Auto World Series have the same rims, but I love this car. This is a really cool colored car. The style on it, love it. It's cool. You got to get this. This is cool to have in your collection. Um, here's one that I just recently got. It's a uh, 66 Pontiac GTO. I love this car. This is a beautiful car. The body style, the front end of it just glares. It looks mean to me. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh little muscle rims. see once again muscle rims this is this is a uh i'm not really sure what what this is this one is but this this is what muscle rims should look like to me this is this is stylish not those star looking goofy looking ones uh here is a 2013 chevy camaro z01 convertible once again goofy looking rims I can never say it enough. The rims just look goofy to me. Let me put that right there for right now. Um, here's one that I just previously got. A 1970 Mercury Cougar. I like that. It kind of looks like a Camaro to me. If you didn't know, if you're not to a trained eye, or whatnot, know everything about cars, that kind of looks like a Camaro. But a chunky Camaro, should I say. Like the ones off GTA or Grand Theft Auto 4 or something like that. Once again, muscle rims. Really slick looking front end of it's beautiful a little grill in there everything it's a cool looking car um here is a 1993 pontiac firebird uh nothing's too special about it kind of looks like a once again a 93 camaro or something like that but of course the firebirds and the uh, camaros looked alike in, in real life as well and goofy looking little starred rims um here is a 2014 dodge viper srt Cool looking rim. I love that color, like a metallic or a ultra red. Really cool. Um, this is one of my per my recent purchases. This is a 1964 Ford Galaxy 500 XL. This is a really looking slick looking car, actually. I love the the slickness of it. The white walls on there. The old convertible looking rim. Little rim hubcaps on it. Beautiful little car. I just one day, I was like, if I were a kid, I would pop these open to play with them in a heartbeat. Which I, I really feel like, as of right now, as a grown man, I'd love to open these up and just to have them. But I know once, I, I don't know if it's just me, but I always, every time I open something, it's just not as cool to me anymore. It's just like these previous sets that I bought, this truck in my uh, previous video. I opened it up, and now I have a built truck that I don't have any use for. I don't want it anymore. So I just put it in a box or whatnot. It's somewhere in my closet. But uh, yep, that's that's this is a really cool car. Really cool car. All right, and here's a a previous purchase. 
It is a 1966 Mercury comic Cyclone. White walls, white paint job, slick looking uh, race stripe down the side, little bottom fender there. Or, uh, not really sure what the name of that would be. Bottom panel. Yeah, I'm going to go with that right now. Uh, really cool looking car. I don't really care for white. It'd been a white, no colors just bore me, really. I love the grill, but I like the body style of it. But just these colors just bore me. It's like black and white, gray. Those are boring colors to me. I love cars to, with bright colors like candy apple red, lime green, you know, amarillo yellow. Beautiful colors. Something to pop the eye. Here is another one. This is a 1969 Pontiac Firebird. Now, this one was really cool. I saw this and I had to get it. I love the body style. This it kind of look, like once again these things look like Camaros, but that's that front end that'll get you. That's how you know that's a Firebird. Beautiful, beautiful. That's like a um, I want to say a pearl blue or a dark blue. I wouldn't say dark blue, but nonetheless, really cool car. Muscle rims. That's what muscle rims are supposed to look like right there. That's a perfect example of muscle rims. Beautiful car. All right, now on to some bigger and better things here. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed this already. This is one of my Supers that I've pre uh, purchased, a Toyota Off-Truck Road. Um, beautiful color. I love the color. And if you guys know what the, re the, uh, the real ones look like without the real riders on them, they're just a bright hot rod red. This is like a candy apple red or a, um, what do they call it? I forget the... Um, I forget the name of the actual color that people call these things, but this is a really cool find. I found this at Big Lots, surprisingly. Um, I went into Big Lots one day, and I went through their shelves, and I found this. So always keep your mind open to other places. I go to grocery stores because they always have pegs with Hot Wheels. I go to Big Lots. I go to Walmart. It's like uh, Jason Fry said, hunt hard. And don't don't just aspect it to Walmart or Target or nothing like that. Go go to some different places. You never know what you're gonna find in other places, whatnot. But all right, here are here are my my other supers that I know I've showed in a previous video. Let me get them out of the box here. Uh, every video now, I think I'm just gonna take out my supers and line them up. For every super that I do get, because I think it's cool just to see them all lined up and everything. I have to get a protection, a protector pack for the um, the truck. But there's my Porsche 993 GT2 Toyota off-road truck. My '69 Dodge Charger Daytona. Love the color on it. I love that lime green. Just colors that pop. You know what I mean? And here is my newest, just fresh, fresh, like, literally, I just untaped it, but it's open now, but I just literally untaped this. Don't, 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 don't look now. Don't look. All right, we're going we're gonna to have to pop that open here and let's see if you guys can figure it out just by the case number of what it might be. I'm going to try to get it not to blur as much. There it is. Oh, kind of ruined it. So, <laughs> I see the name right there. I'm, I'm such a dutz. Yeah, well, that's what it is. I just got this in the mail today. Mint card. Not a wrinkle, not a scratch, nothing. 64 Chevy Nova station wagon on real riders. I am in love with this car. This car is phenomenal. I was looking at it when I was looking to buy it from a guy off of um, eBay. Which I got it dirt cheap because I wait till the last minute to put a bids on things, and I usually end up winning it because I'll bump. Everybody else is expecting, like, say you got twenty-two dollars, they'll bump it up to twenty-two fifty. No, I go a couple dollars ahead just to know I win it. But uh, that's not what I got this for. I don't really want to disclose the price that I bought it for, but it was relatively cheap considering what they're going for. But yeah, I got a lot more of supers coming. Um. I gotta buy some protective cases. Um, update on the uh, Camaro restoration. I have the wheels coming in the mail. The paint job is done. The window is in. I have the frame ready. So as soon as the wheels get here, I'd love to put them on. But uh, that's it for right now. And um, I'm glad you guys were watching. 
keep uh keep everybody updated on what i'm doing what i'm collecting I promise I won't go through every Hot Wheel that or um, diecast car that I do have in my collection for every video. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss any. Um, this is Wilson collection. Yeah, if you guys want to, oh, another thing is if you want to follow me, everything I have ends up on my Instagram before I make a video of it. So if you guys just want to make uh follow me on Instagram, give my pictures a few likes, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um. Yeah, that's about all, that's about it. But uh thanks for watching and uh stay tuned to find out what happens next. See you guys later.